Well, Thursday was certainly sweet for almost all the handicappers at the site, except for yours truly. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Friday video report. Uh, I've got another free pick coming your way after giving you Florida outright over Marquette last night. 23-10 and 10 run with the free selections over the past four and a half weeks, plus money-saving discount coupon code. That'll save you $16 off a single purchase today. And, of course, we're going to start it by talking about who's hot and who's not. And I can tell you I'm in the latter category, not the former. Uh, who's hot? Anthony Red, did you see, of course you know by now, that three of the four underdogs cashed last night. But here in Vegas, the bloodbath game was Michigan State and Louisville. Everybody was loading up on Michigan State. The Sharps early in the week, the general gambling public yesterday as well. <laughs> Should have known. Anthony would be on the other side of that game. He loves going against the public. He's right there in Vegas, as you know. And guys, he cashed in with the second largest play of his career again. 80-dime winner on Louisville outright. That was on the heels of the 50-dime winner on Washington State, a 7.5-point dog, winning outright at Oregon State in the CBI tournament on Wednesday night. And, uh, well, guys, the drive for $12,000 continues. And what I mean by that is simply this. Anthony, 62 and 32 over the past 65 days. And in that stretch, we're talking a $10 better has won $10,972. $10,972. And today, coming right back with the second largest play of his career, his 89 winner number four in a row. Number one, was made back at the end of February. That was the night Notre Dame was a two-and-a-half to three-point favorite at home and beat up West Virginia by 27. The second one was back on March 8th when he had Louisiana Tech as a four-point dog, winning outright over Utah State. Last night, number three was Louisville, the five-and-a-half-point dog, outright over Michigan State easily. And then number four goes tonight, and it's his dog of the year for round of 16 action. And... Uh, Geez, what more can I tell you guys? I mean, if you haven't bought into what Anthony has done for you and what I've talked about over the past couple of months, then there's nothing I can say that would certainly convince you otherwise. Remember, I view these videos as a way to try to play traffic cop for you, to point you in the direction of the guys who are hot and at the same time pointing out those who are not. Guys that win the big plays, guys that don't win the big plays because... That's really the game here, guys. There's a bunch of handicappers at the site. They're all independent contractors. The key is who can make you money today and on a consistent basis, and Anthony certainly has done that. Another guy who had a huge play last night, 100-dime winner last night for Jeff Fenton. He's had five of those plays so far this season. He is 4-1 and one with those releases. Last night, Florida outright. Two-point dog by 10 over Marquette. He has his 100-dime play going tonight, number five out of six. Again, this is his biggest play of the entire season. I talked about it in yesterday's video. He hit last night with Florida. Four and one with 100-dime plays on the year. Another 100-dime selection going tonight. He's on a 65-49 and 49 college basketball run, but it's not the overall numbers that really make the difference. The fact is, in that run, a $10 better has won $4,170. Congratulations going out to uh, uh, Derek Mancini. Last night, biggest college basketball play of his career. Cashing in, first ever 80-dime play. One of the few guys to even touch the Ohio State-Cincinnati game, and he was on the Buckeyes in that one. Today, he's looking for winning day number 15 out of 19 and 12 out of 15 overall. Guys, the last 30 days, he's 22-8, and eight, and a $10 better has won $4,240. Craig Davis, cashing in last night. 50-dime winner number 8 out of 11, Florida. Uh, today, looking for winning day number 7 out of 8 is 30-dime big dance dog of the month. Since February 1st, $10 player has won $6,335. Over the past 30 days, exactly 30 days, that same $10 player through Craig's efforts has won $4,825. Guys, that's the theme here. Now, if I'm not mentioning Matt Rivers, if I'm not mentioning Dom Chambers, it's because they aren't winning, guys. I'm trying to tell you these are the guys, and you see by those numbers that I've just presented with you, are the ones that are making guys money on a consistent basis. Now, will they win every single month this year? Absolutely not. Nobody wins every single day. But you're looking for somebody who can win on a long-term, consistent basis. And guys, these guys certainly have been doing so. One other guy I want to talk about, actually two quick guys, guys. Uh, Bob Valentino, not an everyday handicapper, kind of pops in and out when he has a big play. Tonight, 75-dime winner, number 7 out of 10, Xavier and Baylor. One of the few handicappers to actually focus on that particular game like that. 
tonight. It's funny, that game and just like the Cincinnati-Ohio State game last night's are kind of like the stepchildren. Nobody wants to really dip their toes into them. Uh, he had a 75 dime winner on uh, Loyola and Merrimack over Weber State on Sunday. Uh, had a 60 dime winner on Mercer outright over Georgia State on Saturday. This play is bigger. Uh, his last 27 picks, he's gone 17-9-1. and $10 better has won. $2,910. And finally, uh, Scott Delaney looking for big dance winner number five out of six. 80 dime dog, just as strong as his 80 dime winner last night on uh, Florida. Um, yeah, he's really been on a nice run here. 50 dime winner on VCU last Saturday against Indiana. 100 dime winner on Ohio on uh, Sunday. 80 dime winner on Florida last night. So really, you know, doing a nice job here in the dance. Now, back to me. I had one seven out of nine days. I had gone three and one so far in the big dance uh, last weekend. Had my uh, 15 dime play number three in a row in the big dance after cashing in with Cincinnati over Texas and uh, North Carolina over Creighton. Uh, went with Syracuse last night. Eh. You know, at the end there, I was hoping Syracuse lost a damn game. When it couldn't go into overtime, I had no chance of covering. I'm going, please let these damn guys lose. If I mean, if I can't win, why should they win the game on the floor? One of those things. But, you know. Uh, better to have taken the shot when I had accumulated bankroll than not to take the shot at all. Uh, listen, guys, your money-saving discount coupon code is going to be 16HOOPS. 16HOOPS. Number 16-H-O-O-P-S. 16HOOPS. Put it all together, and you'll get $16 off a single purchase today. 16HOOPS. Okay, let's talk about a couple of these games tonight here. Um... I'm going to take a look for your free pick at the North Carolina State-Kansas game uh, because, quite simply, you know, I would have been all over North Carolina tonight if Marshall was playing just like I was on the Tar Heels on Sunday. But without their starting point, Cloyd, I don't have that much faith in North Carolina tonight. Uh, Baylor, Xavier, come on. You tell me of two more inconsistent teams on a steady basis, big-name programs, than the Musketeers and the Bears this year. I mean, is Perry Jones III going to show up tonight? Uh, is Xavier going to get some great production from their center once more? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. These four games today are by no stretch of the imagination in my book the hardest ones. Uh, NC State and Kansas. Now, we know Kansas, uh, NC State's on that 6-1 and one run, the only loss coming against North Carolina uh, last Saturday in the ACC tournament. Uh, had to rally to beat Georgetown 66-63 on Sunday. Uh, Kansas, meanwhile, had to rally to beat Purdue 63-60 on Sunday. And the Boilermakers basically went big against the Jayhawks. And it really frustrated Thomas Robinson, who's their double-double machine. And true, he did get a double-double with 11 points and 13 rebounds, but he was 2 for 12 from the field. But what I take from that particular game is, is that Kansas won despite Thomas Robinson uh, struggling in the tournament, despite the fact that Tyshawn Taylor uh, struggled in that particular game, not the tournament, in that particular game. And yet they still were able to win that game. So I'm going to go against the grain, and I'm going to go with Kansas here. Even though this is a Kansas team that has done me no favors this year financially, trust me on this, I'm going to take Kansas minus the eight points against NC State. But i got to be honest with you guys. You know, I liked Florida a lot last night. I mean, I really liked Florida. It was a toss-up most of the day for me between going with Syracuse or going with Florida. Eh. <laughs> Made a mistake there, didn't I? Uh, but I don't like uh, Kansas anything close to what I like Florida last night. Uh, let me also dip my toes into the NBA. I'm willing to uh, lay the points with the Lakers tonight at home. And it's a big number, minus the nine. You know, Lakers coming off the 109-93 win at Dallas on Tuesday to snap a two-game slide. Prior to that two-game losing streak, they had won five in a row and 10 of 13. Uh, and then, of course, they lost at home to the Jazz and lost on the road to the Rockets before beating the Mavericks. Um... You know, they had won 10 straight games again uh, at the Staples Center before losing the Jazz last Sunday. Um, you know, this Portland team, they traded away two starters, and Marcus Camby and Gerald Wallace. They gave Nate McMillan his walking papers. This is a team in flux. I know they beat Memphis last night at home 97-93, but keep in mind the Grizzlies have said certainly hit a slump here. That was their fourth loss in their last five games. Um, so I am going to go with the Lakers here. Keep this in mind. You know, this is a Portland team that lost to Milwaukee at home on uh, Tuesday, 116-87. to 87. This is a team that lost at Oklahoma City last Sunday, 111-85. to 85. They've allowed 111 or more points in three of their last five games. <clears throat> 
I like the way that uh, Ramon Sessions is being uh, acclimated into the Lakers lineup. Why Steve Blake is even starting at this point is beyond me, but you see what Sessions brings to that team. Uh, speed, athleticism, the ability to drive more of an up-tempo game for Mike Brown's offense, which really needs it, let's face it. Um, 31 points, 13 assists in the last two games alone, coming off a 17.9 assist uh, performance against the Mavericks in the road win. Uh, Lakers have won eight of the last nine at home in the series, and I'm going to go with the Lakers as your free NBA pick. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Saturday morning.